No introduction in DaVinci Resolve, something people have a very strong opinion about of where that node should live in our node tree. Have you guys worked on projects before and found that works better at the start of our grading process than at the end of our grading process? Or is it better at the end than the start? Let me know in the comments below if you've done tests or worked on projects before and found it works better in a certain way. But today we're going to go into Resolve and we're going to have a look at some footage and we're going to do it at the start of our grading process and at the end and we're going to see which one works best for us. Now, is there going to be a big difference? Is there going to be a difference at all? And also, how does placing that node affect our rendering when it comes to working in Resolve? Alrighty, so I have some footage here that I went out and shot. So if we come to our raw settings, I've actually pumped it up to 3200 ISO to get a noisier image. So let's make it full screen. So as you can see, our image is quite noisy. So we'd want to do some noise reduction to reduce that. Before we get into noise reduction, let me just talk about DaVinci Resolve's statement on where they think that node should be. So I'm just going to bring it up here. So where should you place the noise reduction node? Applying a noise reduction at the start of the node tree is advisable because it analyzes and affects the original RGB data to reduce noise. However, this placement may potentially impact the precision of key base selection tools, HLC curves, or qualifier, for example. So that means when you're keying someone's skin, this could affect the image, making it harder to key that skin or to introduce artifacting too early in the node pipeline. Applying noise reduction at the end of the node tree can bypass these if they are present, but also can result in a slightly less detailed image. When unsure, experiment with the placement of the noise reduction node in the node editor until you find out the optimal position. So what do they mean by that? They're basically saying whatever works for you is the thing that works best for you. So you don't have to go by what they're saying. They're saying do what is best for your results. I think that makes sense. Now, before I start doing this noise reduction, I just want to say that we're not actually going to learn how to do noise reduction today. We're just going to use it. But later on in a future video, we'll explain how to use noise reduction and how to get the best results. All right, so these are the clips we're going to work with today. We have this image here and we have, I think this one here is pretty good. As you can see, we've already noise reduced this image. It's also very shaky. We're going to use this one to key out that skin. So you have this node selected, but we're going to turn it off and on and we'll put noise reduction on, then do the king and we'll see if it affects it at all. Alrighty, so first thing, let's look at this image here. So at the moment, we have a noise reduction on our first node. So let's just turn it on by pressing Control D. Alrighty, now looking at our image here, first of all, good playback, which is nice, but also our image doesn't have noise in it at all. It looks really smooth and quite nice. So let's look at putting it at the back and see if that makes a difference. So I'm just going to go to the other version that I've made, which is the exact same grade, but with noise reduction at the end. So press control B to go to that next version that you've made. So here's our node tree at the end. We have the exact same image that we had before. So let's put these images side by side and see if there's a difference at all. So we can do this by coming up to split screen. So these are the different versions of the grade. So this one is the one with the node is at the front, the noise reduction node, and this one is the back one. So let's make this quite big. For some reason, the playback is really choppy in split screen, which is quite annoying, but that is what it is. But also, if we just pause that for a moment, look at our image, can you tell if there is a difference at all in either of these images? Now, to me, I've looked at this image a lot and they are basically exactly the same. I don't think it's a difference at all when it comes to this image, and I think it is exactly the same to each other. So let's move on to a more noisy image. Alrighty, so this image here, what we're gonna do again is turn this node on. Now, as you can see, we've got good playback. So this is the node at the end of our node tree. Now let's go to that other version again, pressing Control B. Okay, so here's the exact same grade, but with the noise reduction in the front. So we don't have to play this image back because we already know what it looks like. So let's just play it back in the split screen. So coming up to here, clicking this icon, now let's make it big by pressing Control F. And again, our image is a little bit choppy, so forgive my computer for that. It's having a bad time at the moment. And as you can see, our footage looks exactly the same. I can't actually see any difference whatsoever. Highlights look the same, and then the shadows look the same. And in terms of image quality, I can't see any artifacting or anything like that. To me, there is no difference whatsoever. So now the big question is, why would you put the node reduction at the front, or why would you put it at the back? 
And I think one of the reasons is when it comes to your render cache, and this is something that people haven't spoken about when talking about the noise reduction placement in your node tree. So as you can see, we have our noise reduction here at the front. Now, if I were to make another node, so Alt S to make a serial node, a noise reduction is on our first node. If we make a adjustment onto this node here, so a node that is after the noise reduction, will our image have to recache that video file? So let's go to our primaries and we'll just make some terrible decisions here. If we play that back, we're getting perfect playback. So it actually hasn't rendered at all. Now it may look like it has actually rendered because this blue bar has disappeared while you made those selections, but it actually hasn't rendered. Because as you can see, our playback is completely perfect. Now let's make that same adjustment, but this time we're gonna do it on the end of our node tree. So let's go to our other version. Our noise reduction is on the end of our node tree. Let's say we wanna make another node because we wanna make an adjustment to our grade. Now we wanna keep this node reduction last. So let's see if we're gonna to have to recache if we make another node. Make it prior to this one by pressing Shift S. Now, if you look at our footage, we have to re-render. So any adjustments we make that are prior to our end noise reduction, we have to recache our image. Now, if we went up to render cache, which is under playback, render cache. Now at the moment I'm on smart, which means that if Resolve thinks it needs to render because of adjustment you've made, it will re-render that footage. Now, even if we put this on user, come to our node here and we change this to node cache on. And again, we make a, another node beforehand. Again, we're rendering. So let's try that in the other version. So our noise reduction is last. Now we have to change this node now because it's not actually on. So node cache on. Now, if you're confused by render cache, I made a video on it. And I'll leave a link below for that one and I'll explain how to use render cache and which is the best settings for it. So at the moment we're on user and we're gonna render this node here. So I'll make another node after here. So Alt S to make a serial node, play that back. We don't have to re-render our footage. So that is a really interesting and important thing I think to know where to put your noise reduction node in your node tree. And then we're gonna go on to some king involving the skin tones. So we have our image here of this guy looking very serious. So now we have our node here at the start of our timeline and we have our skin layer node all set up. So let's do some king. Now I'm just gonna make a simple selection, then shift H. And as you can see, our selection isn't fantastic. So we'll just bring that out. So I've made a really quick selection on the skin and I haven't really found any problems whatsoever when applying that noise reduction at the start of our node. Now, even if we were to turn this off, so we'll turn this node off here and then we'll reset this skin node and we'll see if we can do the same thing, but with the noise reduction off. Now it's really hard to tell if it's easier or harder with the noise reduction on because it's pretty much impossible to get that same selection. But again, if we were to just bring this out and do a really quick selection on this skin. I don't really think there's that much of a difference when it comes to keying out this person's skin, if the noise reduction is on or the noise reduction is off. Now we'll do it at the end, but I don't think this is gonna make a difference whatsoever, but for the purpose of being fair, we'll copy this, reset this, put this at the end. Okay, so we'll try and do the same thing, even though it is obviously quite impossible. So we'll make a selection across the skin, and then we'll do the same thing by widening our selection, taking away some of those darker areas. And we basically have the same thing. And again, it's not really that big of a difference or a difference at all. Now, another thing we can do while I have this skin selected is to actually turn our noise reduction off and see if it changes our selection at all. So let's come across to here, turn that node off, come back, it is basically the same or if not exactly the same. So it doesn't really make a difference. Now, if I was doing someone's skin tone anyway, I'd probably have it off because noise reduction is quite heavy on your system and it's better to have it off than having it on. So what's my opinion when it comes to noise reduction and where to place that node? For me, it is project by project base. So if I feel like it's working better at the start than the end, then I'll do that. And then obviously I would change if it's working better the other way. Now it's completely up to you guys where you wanna put it. There is no right or wrong way when it comes to noise reduction, but let me know in the comments below if you feel like it works better at the front or work better 
at the end of your node tree. I hope this has helped when it comes to placement of your noise reduction and maybe giving you a little bit less stress when it comes to placing that node. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good weekend. And I've been Drew from Gingo Productions.